Hi everyone, my name is Ben Ardeburn, and I was a visa officer for the U.S. Department of State. I made decisions on over 60,000 visa interviews in China and Colombia. Now, I work for Argo, the first company in the world to connect visa applicants with former visa officers to help them pass their interviews. So many people want to know about the sponsor on their visa application. If you're applying to be a student in the U.S. and you've got your F visa application, you have to say who your sponsor is, right? And many people think that what's going to determine whether they get their visa or whether they get refused is who they put in that sponsor field. But I'm here to tell you it's not so simple. It's actually, well, I would say it's simpler than that, but it's definitely broader than just one name put into that field. Many of my clients, they've been refused their visa. Maybe they had listed their uncle or their father or a family friend or themselves as their sponsor when they're applying for their visa and they got refused. And they think what they need to do is put a different name down, change their sponsor and reapply. And maybe that's what's going to get them their visa issued. It's not that simple. What has to happen is that the visa officer at the time of your interview has to completely understand your financial situation, whether that be from your parents, from your own savings, from a sponsor who's a member of the family, like an uncle or an aunt, uh, or if it's a family friend, or if it's an organization in the U.S., or if you've gotten a scholarship or a teaching assistantship in the U.S., or perhaps your job is going to sponsor you, whatever it is, your entire finances come into play. It's not just that one name on the sponsor field that you need to worry about. And I'm talking about the DS-160 and the I-20. What you need to be prepared to do is to go into your visa interview and explain everything that supports your ability to not only be able to pay for the tuition and your, your, your lifestyle when you're in the U.S. studying for your degree, but also that shows that you have better prospects returning to your own country afterwards than staying in the U.S. unlawfully. All right? So you can't just rely on putting a name in that sponsor field and then getting your visa you have to be prepared through the conversation with the visa officer to convince them that the totality of your financial situation merits you getting a visa.